We had probably driven for eight hours that day on that ranch. Probably covered a couple of hundred miles, seen a lot of nice antelope bucks, and right before we were about to head back into Tatum, there he was. The part of the state that Larry's hunting in is extremely flat. He's got like 250 acres of wide open flat land. Probably means a lot of behind the wheel time. Plus, this time of year, the weather is really hot, it's really humid, which makes for a lot of pop-up isolated thunderstorms. I'm glad I'm not there. So the next morning we go out and right off the bat, we start seeing antelope. The rut is on, the bucks got the does, they're fighting for territory. You look out across there right after daylight and there was just antelope everywhere. Now, from the scouting the day and a half before, I knew the kind of quality of bucks and where some of them were at. And so at this stage of the game, I was passing on these antelope, looking for that big lop horn. After seeing about 10 different bucks that I'd shoot on any other given year, you know, I kept searching, kept searching the area where the big lop horn buck lived. There was no sign of him. I went back to the same area I seen him the day before, which was by a water tank that's being refilled by a windmill. I climbed up on this windmill, risked getting decapitated to where I could glass at a higher advantage point. I could see for miles and miles. There's no sign of him. Like I said, there was about eight of us on this hunt, and I had a couple of real good friends from back home that were on this hunt that have never taken an antelope before, and both of them would also like to shoot old big lophorn. So I decided with me wanting to leave that afternoon to be elk hunting the next morning, I was gonna take the next mature buck I seen. And it didn't take too long to find him. Well, he's 350 yards. It's starting to rain and he laid down on me. Plus I got this strong, That's gonna make that bullet drift a lot. I think I'm gonna to have to try and get closer. So I think I'm gonna walk back to the truck, let this rain pass by, maybe the wind will let up. And he's just in a hard place. There's 15 antelope out there, and as you can see, no cover. So. Here at Most Wanted, we don't wanna leave anything to chance. Besides shooting your gun and practicing with it, I use the ballistic calculator from Winchester. All you gotta do is dial in the specs, and select your cartridge type, select your bullet, your bullet weight, the weather, temperature, your sight in range, crosswinds, and hit shoot. And at 300 yards, my bullet was drifting 18.9 inches. Now think about that. We're talking this far at 300 yards, you're blown off the mark. The Winchester Ballistic Calculator will help you be more accurate and will help you know what your bullet will do under all kinds of adverse conditions. Well, we're down to the last day. This is a mature buck. He ain't got a giant horns on him. But uh, I like him. We're just gonna start walking right at him and see if I can get within about 300 yards. The cover's this tall. I try and go 100 yards on my belly and my knees. Stupid. 300. He must have went down. I don't see him. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. I have got more of these sandburrs in my butt, my elbows, my knees than you can believe. But this is a great place to pronghorn hunt out here in eastern New Mexico. 
Oh, wow, this has been fun. But this has been tough. You see a lot of antelope, but just getting close to them, these things are wilder than a French hare. Tell you what, I'm gonna keep coming back. And if you're gonna hunt with a gun, hunt with a real gun, folks. The people at uh, Browning, Winchester US Repeating Arms have been making the best bolt action guns in the world for a long time. Shooting a 300 Win Mag, Acubon, 180 grain bull. Now, of course, that's kind of some overkill for an antelope, but there's not many different degrees of dead, I always say. Uh, I had this gun ready to go. You can use a smaller caliber, but dead is dead. Well, the case on this Antelocarpa Americanus is closed.